whenever you're ready, go ahead. Hello, this is Miss Candace, and I'm going to read today The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, a little red hen lived on their farm with a dog, a pig, and a cow. Oh my goodness, let's see, we have, here's the dog, and I don't see a pig. Oh, here's a cow, see, there's the cow. Okay, the little red hen worked hard every day, but her friends were very lazy. They slept in the sun and watched the little red hen work. One morning, the little red hen found some grain of wheat. Look, she squawked to the other animals. If we plant this grain, we'll have bread with our tea. See, we, we'll have bread with our tea. And this is the wheat. She found a grain of wheat. Who will help me plant the grain? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cow. The little red hen sighed. I guess we'll have to plant it by myself she said and she did hey, there she is all summer long the little red hen watered and weeded the wheat the dog the pig and the cow always said they're too busy to help by the end of the summer the wheat stood tall and golden and ready to cut and thrash. See, there's the wheat right there. And oops, there's the cutter that you cut the wheat down with. Who will help me cut and thrash the wheat? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cow. The little red hen sighed. I guess I will have to cut it and thrash it myself, she said. See, there she is. She's cutting the wheat. She cut the wheat with a sharp, her sharp beak. And then she tied it into bundles and st it stood loose and loose all the grain. So she tied it together and she did like this to shake it off to get the grains, to get the part that you're gonna make bread out of. So she was working very hard for that. The little red hen loaded the wheat grain into the wheelbarrow. See, there she is. And she's doing it all by herself. Who will help me take the grain to the mill? The little red hen, said the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cow. The little red hen sighed. I guess I would have to take it myself, she said. And she did. At the mill, the miller poured the grain between the millstone, the stone turned around and around, grinding the grain into soft, powdery flour. See, there it is, right there. The road back to the farm was long. The wheelbarrow was heavy, but the little red hen forgot that she was tired every time she imagined the taste of the bread. She was imagining tasting this nice bread. Back at the farm, the little red hen asked the other animals, who will help me bake the bread? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cow. Then the little red hen sighed, 
I guess I have to bake it myself, she said. And she did. The little red hen made the dough and put it into the oven. Soon, a delicious aroma filled the farmyard. The little red hen pulled it perfect, pulled perfectly baked bread from the oven. It was crust, crusty and golden brown. Now, who will help me eat the bread? The little red hen said. She asked the other animals now, and they said, I will, said the pig. I will, said the dog. I will, said the cow. The little red hen shook her head. No, you won't, she said. See, there she is, shaking her head. No, 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 no. You did not help me plant the grain, said the little red hen. You did not help me cut and thrash it. You did not help me take the wheat to the mill, and you did not help me bake the bread. So you are not going to help me eat the bread either, she said. I will eat the bread myself. And that is exactly what she did. She ate it all by herself. Because she did everything by herself. The little red hen. Thank you for listening.